Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to review the Sticky Menu and Sticky Header plugin. It enables you to make any element on your web page sticky, so it hits the top of the page when scrolling down. So let's move forward to view the plugin. So the plugin has been developed by Web Factory. It has more than 100,000 plus active installations. Its rating is almost 4.8 out of 5 stars. Besides the free version that you can download from WordPress.org, the plugin developers provide also a pro version full of many advanced features. Here is the pricing. Currently, there is a big discount, so you can get the single license for $39 instead of $49, the team license for $49 instead of $79, and finally, the agency plan for $99 instead of $199. So do not miss the chance to activate one of the plans right now. Besides, you have a 7 days money back guarantee without any risks. And now let's go to our admin dashboard and detect the plugin's functionalities. First of all, let's install the plugin by entering the plugin section, then typing the plugin name, install it and activate it to use. Then go to the settings section. Here you will notice basic settings, advanced settings, support FAQ and the pro version purchasing area. So let's begin with the basic settings. To make any part of the page sticky, you need to paste it, uh, its class or unique ID in the for first box sticky element. For this, you have two options. You can uh, take the class and ID from the code section or you can use a visual element picker, yet you should note that this function is available only in the pro version. The next box enables you to make sticky not only one but also more elements sticky, but this is also included in the pro version. Then you can determine the space between the top of the page and sticky element. Uh, you can uh, set sticky element opposite you when scrolling as well as fade in and slide down effects and add custom CSS. Uh, all these three are available in the pro version. Next, you can set the background color when sticky and in the end you can control the element sticking according to the screen size. There you will also find advanced settings such as that index, push-up element and legacy mode. You can also restrict using sticky on some selected posts and pages, which is also a pro function. And the tool will help you debug the plugin in case you have any issues. After making all the changes, you need to save them. Now let's try to stick the, uh, stick the page header and then the title part. For this, we should do a right click uh, to the logo, then click on inspect. Find the element class or ID, in this case we have copied ID, and paste it into the appropriate field adding a number sign. After saving the changes, we should reload the page and see the sticky logo on the top of the page. To make the header sticky, we may copy and paste the element class with dot. Then we should save changes in the same way. And after reloading the page, we may notice the sticky gaming header. As you may see, Working with this plugin is very easy and effective, even if you have not upgraded to its pro version. So try the plugin and share your thoughts in the comments down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more valuable content.